Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, episode 3 this time. Oh, I missed that one. Let's go back a second. Some funds. Very helpful at this point. Look at my current, uh, look at my current financial situation. It's not ideal. This is bugging me slightly, this little gap here that we've got. I don't like that. I don't know if we can fix it, because it might be a bit too... It's too close to the viewing mm. vent, isn't it? Yeah, it's too close to the viewing vent. Oh well. That's fine. It's going to have to kind of bug me for a bit. Uh, how are these guys doing? Oh, I was going to get rid of that. Actually, wasn't I? Again, some money back, so also doesn't hurt that. And then let's replace some of those modern trees. Some of the more paleo ones. Just fine. I actually hadn't been this uh, at all in this enclosure. Sorry about that. There we go, that's much better. They'll be, they've got a much better chance of staying healthy now. And they seem to be getting along quite nicely, which I'm very happy about. Very nice seeing them all kind of get along and be quite loud and a bit obnoxious. Right, uh, how is everyone doing? Everyone's loving life, apparently, which is great. Even the Apocatosaurus. The Apocatosauruses seem quite happy by themselves. I will probably at some point introduce another species into that enclosure uh, when we get around to it. Just now we're just kind of building up money, though, uh, finishing off the percentages that we need to. But we're mostly just waiting for that extra half a star to come in. Now, we got the first half star last episode, which helped us a lot. Uh, because it sets up perfectly for it to hopefully come this one. Which would be nice. Checking our research, how about that? Very nearly there. Once we've got that, we'll be sorted, I feel. Brilliant. The HG, this, even the water just looks better with this mod. Just everything just looks a lot nicer. The game didn't look awful, um, but it is 15 years old, so as it it's aged, and it's aged okay, but any little boosts it can get help it quite a lot. So the DJ mod, again, linked in the description, as is the Forgotten mod, they both really help it. Again, the new dinosaurs as well, it's a bit of excitement, a little something different. And so far, the one new dinosaur that we found looks really, really cool. Hoping to find a few more. Getting a bit of a crowd build up, actually. Oh, I got excited and I heard urgent message and I was like, there's a star. No, it's not. Security fence, perfect. So we'll go back to doing vaccines now, I feel. Just again, get them out of the way. Right, we can now upgrade this. Oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. 7,000. Yeah, I have to just make sure he stays there. He's um, enjoying his dinner, currently. Delicious, I'm sure. And as you can see, the um, the first research investment I made is paying off the umbrellas. Everyone is staying happy. If you don't have it, they all just become miserable and leave very, very, very quickly because they don't like the rain at all. So we just get it out of the way straight away. It really helps. Dorosaurus, I thought I maxed you out, to be honest. Oh well, I might as well. A bit of money from the Chasmosaurus is being 100%. It helps, I suppose. Just building up cash at the moment is a lot of what we're doing. Let's uh, speak to some visitors. Make sure that everyone's happy. You've seen the Taurosaurus. Very nice. Is there any authenticity here? See, I don't get this. I don't know. Oh, make it an urgent one. I don't like care. <laughs> okay, what do you have to say? <laughs> Last time you praised me for having two species. This time I introduced two more and no, you don't care. Brilliant. It's frustrating. Very frustrating. I don't understand how that works at all. Look the summary. Thrill Seekers, there is... Oh, I haven't updated the viewing vents, actually. Storm. How dramatic. Uh, let's adjust this. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Uh, this can go back to a play pen, I believe. Play pen, play pen, play pen. Let's be thrill. Thrill. 
So, and that should be everything categorised nicely. Tyrosol 10%, there we go, we knew that was coming, because we got a, a high DNA source. That was 96%. I can make a hope, it's got a hope. That. There it is! Brilliant, that's what we wanted. Right. I haven't thought about what we want next too much, to be honest. There's a few we could go for. We could go for Jurassic and go somewhere down the bottom, which I'm 100% up for. Or we can go. There's a lot of carnivores there. Be interesting. There's nothing new. I think this is the. Uh, these two up here, the only two with nothing new. I think this might be the last one's Iron Lock. Hmm. Where to go? Where to go? I think. Let's get some. Jurassic dinosaurs. Let's go for Morrison Formation B. Get some sauropods then. I think that'll really help. Bring in people. Also, I can raise the price on entrance now, which is very nice. I can put all five, uh, six, all six of my big sites over there. Perfect. Nice right, so amber. That'll also allow us to have our first five star, which will be very nice. I think that's old amber from stuff we. Had. Yeah, thinking about it actually. I should have just sold that one as well. I can't cancel that now. It's only low. Um, it might boost up the Parasaurolophus up to 100%. If it doesn't, no biggie. They've already got reasonable lifespans, I think. I think they're all quite happy. I think there's one with a 5 year lifespan. The rest of them have 11. Yeah. That's fine. I get forward in that. Yes. And they're fighting again. Have they just stopped? Nope, here we go. Very nice. The next go a bit distorted when they do that. Isn't that weird? But we'll go with it. We'll go with it for now. It looks fine. I think they're to the Taurosaurus as well. I don't think they do it as often. I think the Chasmosaurus is doing it quite a lot. I think the Taurosaurus is uh, slightly calmer. But they look just as cool. Well, not just as, but still pretty cool. Dr. Wu. Chasmosaurus, completely useless. That's fine. Next enclosure. Where do we want to put the next enclosure? Uh, we could put it around here, but it's a bit out of the way. I want to kind of put it nearby-ish. I'm feeling... Maybe there? Put it there? We've got a 5x5. Five five. Looks a big one. That was 4. Yeah. That would be probably where a sauropod will go, like a Brachiosaur or Diplodocus. Another new dinosaur, I know that's coming. I've seen that in the um, in the dino list, which I'm very excited to see. A bit of lightning. Oh, a bit too close to the Echocanthosaurus's fence than I would like, possibly. Oh, okay. Go on, Dr. Grand. Okay, what have we got? The Lophosaurs. I believe Diplodocus is in that dig site, although I don't know for certain. Bumblefoot's done. We're nearly, I think we're halfway through, halfway through the vaccines. Let's get rid of ticks. Rabies, although it's probably the most dangerous one. I only have one carnivore at the moment, so that's fine. We can do rabies probably last, unless we get anything else, any other serious carnivores in at any point. No one's complaining yet, are they? Is anyone complaining about authenticity still? Not authentic enough. Well, let's actually have a look at this summary. Uh, it's not that one. It's here, and I think... Yeah. Uh, I don't know, does this really just park? Brilliant. That's, that's perfect. The thrills, my friends, are up here, but no one has ventured up here yet, apart from Wendy. Did you even look at the thing, Wendy? Or did you just walk past? You just walked past. Brilliant. Well, you tried, I suppose. You, if you just walk up there, you see something really quite... No? Dinosaur up there, we just don't care. Alright, brilliant. Oh, well, screw you, do I suppose? Uh, that'll carry on going. It's only a low DNA, I kind of want um, a unique quality one to kick us off with. But that's fine. We could change the prices on the viewing platforms, although I don't want to overcharge and put people off using them. Is the issue there. And we might need more cleaners soon as well. I'll tell you what, since no one's using. 
Let's get rid of you. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I'm going to move it down here. I'm going to path. I'm just going to get the path ready for this enclosure. Again, it just saves us building it next time. I mean, we could maybe... I don't think there's enough space for another enclosure there, so we could have like another shopping area. Possibly. Over here. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Maybe have a little enclosure here. Let's not ignore Dr. Grand, though. Glophosaur, yes. Amber, yes. Actually, let's move that one up. And let's get some dollar dollar from the gold. Always appreciate. Okay, we're not going to put anything here for a little bit because we've got a lot of DNA to yet, but it's just nice to have the layout kind of there. Next enclosure, probably start around here, maybe bend around. Maybe. I haven't quite decided yet. It's a bit of an awkward one. I kind of regret. I'm on that little space there, because there's not enough space for an enclosure, really. Oh, unless I extended this one and had a bit more of a safari area? Possibly? I don't know. We shall see, I suppose. No new dinosaurs so far, though. We're getting lots of DNA, which is always nice. Glophosaur is 18%. How's that doing? Amber! Right, what have we got? Brilliant. That's just what I wanted. More than of sauce, more of the same thing I had, which I can't really make an enclosure for. Although they are small. I could go in a little gap there, I suppose. Maybe. I should probably prepare. Another one? Are you kidding? Is that two in one episode? I mean, I'm doing okay, but... I mean, thanks, I suppose. I'll take it. But that's quite generous. Then he's not usually that giving with stars. It takes a little bit longer usually, but oh well, maybe it was um, stagnate toward the end. Maybe we'll go a bit slower toward the drop off. We'll see. I'll look at how the weather's going to go. I think it's raining currently. We're going to stay raining for a little bit, I'm afraid. But, as I said before, we've prepared, so that's fine. Brachiosaurs, brachiosaurs, brachiosaurs. Very important, and I want that one's higher, isn't it? I think. Did I get that completely wrong? No, I didn't. Cool. Uh, uh, Apatosaurus. Very nice, a bit of variety. Maybe Diplodocus was, um... In the other Morrison formation, Digs like, I haven't sent them up yet. I could have been wrong. I might have got them confused. I hope not, because I really like both Diplodocus and Apatosaurus. I think they're both quite cool. I think having both of them in the park, maybe in the same exhibit, even would be a really nice touch. I could possibly put something down here if there's any smaller herbivores in that area. I don't think there is. I think it's all sauropods. I think. Which is a bit awkward thinking about it. But we'll figure it out. Hmm. Uh, Acanthosaurus, you are hunting. Brilliant. You enjoy. And you're hungry. Maybe get some trees or something, I don't know. A bale. Is that the dispense? Glophosaurs, the first ones we can make. It's peculiar. Oh, we haven't increased the price yet. I can only get some more research going. Double the price, because we've gone up by quite a few stars. So I think we can afford to and not have it affect our visitors too much. Uh, Dino Belly, second to last one, nearly there. Very, very good. But I think that's where we're going to end it off today, guys. That was episode three. We got two, like a whole star's worth in one episode, which is crazy. We planned out a bit more of the park, there's some more research going, and everyone seems to be very happy. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.